thank you all for coming and uh, sitting here with Pims on this blazing hot day. <laughs> hope you enjoy. I uh, hope you enjoy the show. Marjorie, the eldest, lifted me into her long brown hair and ran me jogging down the path and through the steep rose-filled garden and set me down on the cottage doorstep, which was our home, though I couldn't believe it. That was the day we came to the village, in the summer of the last year of the First World War, to a cottage that stood in a half-acre of garden on a steep bank above a lake, a cottage with three floors and a cellar and a treasure in the walls with a pump and apple trees, syringa and strawberries, rooks in the chimneys, frogs in the cellar, mushrooms on the ceiling, and all for three and sixpence a week. I don't know where I lived before then. My life began on the carrier's cart, which brought me up the long, slow hills to the village and dumped me in the high grass and lost me. I had ridden wrapped up in a Union Jack to protect me from the sun, and when I rolled out of it and stood piping loud among the buzzing jungle of that summer bank, then I feel was I born. And to all the rest of us, the whole family of eight, it was the beginning of a life. 